In this video, we'll be explaining the Clash of Kings game mode for Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game. For this scenario, deployment zones are 10 inches from the table edge. Place one objective token in the center of the table. Then place one objective token 6 inches from each flank table edge, for a total of 3 tokens. The Clash of Kings game mode has the following special commander rules. First, take objective cards 6 through 10. Before deployment, beginning with whomever is not the first player, players will alternate selecting from these objectives until each player has selected two. During the game, when your commander's unit activates, you may select one of these cards. Until the end of the round, your commander's unit gains the effect listed on that card as if you were controlling an objective. Each effect may only be used once per game. At the start of each round, beginning with the first player, if your commander and their unit has been destroyed, you may redeploy them fully within a friendly deployment zone or 6 inches from any flank table edge. The Clash of Kings game mode has the following special rules regarding objectives. A unit ending a move with its tray entirely overlapping a token claims that token. A unit controls a token it has claimed as long as it is not engaged by an enemy combat unit with more remaining ranks than it. The moment this happens, it immediately stops controlling that token. Solo units count as having remaining ranks equal to their remaining wounds for the purpose of controlling and contesting objectives. Tokens that are not entirely overlapped by unit's tray are not claimed and are not controlled by any unit. Clash of Kings has the following special scoring. Beginning on round 2, players will score one victory point for each objective token they control at the end of the round. Objective tokens controlled by your army's commander grant plus one victory point when scoring. Score one additional victory point each time your commander's unit destroys an enemy unit with an attack or ability. Additionally, gain two victory points the first time the enemy commander is destroyed. The Clash of Kings game mode requires sound tactical positioning to both preserve your commander and utilize them to gain additional points. We hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe. And in the meantime, we hope you get your miniatures on the table.